Hello, I'm Susie, I'm a gift show too, and I'm about to do a collective 48 hour reading while the sun's shining. So, what would the spirits and angels like the collective to know about the next 48 hours, the next 48 hours? Four of Cups, Four of Swords, both reversed. Mm. Next 48 hours for the collective. The Emperor and Judgment. Powerful things are going to happen in the next 48 hours. This is exciting. Right, a couple more cards, please, Angels and Spirits, for the next. Okay, we'll just take that one. Okay, so we've got the Four of pentacles with the king of wands at the bottom of the deck four of cups upright is um listening to like whispers and people telling you what to do and what if it's this and what if it's that and it, you know you just want to go of your own mind when the four of cups is upside down um it's kind of you can see what, what's in front of your face as opposed to when it's upright you can't but you can so god is offering you something and actually now you've realized maybe you've waited around a little bit too long and the meditating is over the sickness is over and you want to be the emperor own your empire start your business um be honest with the judgment and uh hold on to your principles this could be a letting go of old principles, but I think with the judgment, the fact that you've stood uh, your ground like the emperor, I think the judgment is going to be in your favour in the next 48 hours. And it's you're glad you held on to some money, you're glad you held on to your um, empire, but in the, initially in this 48 hours, it's not, there's... There could be a boss coming in to reveal something that you've done well and by staying in that job that long you can have you get to stay there longer um the emperor's in the center there so he's it's like i can see someone overseeing everything it's like you've woken up you can oversee things you're seeing it from your own perspective for a change and owning what you see and you're seeing the truth of everything with that judgment and um, realizing what you need to keep hold of. If it's a new business, then it's it's gonna, I think, gonna be lucrative, especially with that king of wands there. It's someone seeing the truth of a situation, but not resting on their laurels. Um, it's like you're going to get up and do something or someone's gonna realize, oh, hold on a minute, that's the person I need to be with because they are open, they're honest and they have principles and they've they've kept hold of their home and their family and their earthness. And, you know, I can learn from that. Um, let me ask the, ask the angel cards, romance angel cards. What would you like the collective to know about the next 48 hours? Next 48 hours. Next 48 hours. Okay, so we've got the first one was... Release your ex. Okay, so that's you seeing the truth of a matter. You can actually see things for what they are now. Um, time has come to release your ex. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Um, yeah, you can no longer lie down and, and look at this meditative, meditatively. <laughs> uh, you can. You just. You, you're awake. You're paying attention to the things that are coming up. You're like, hmm, that doesn't seem right. Then you have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. God knows what that means. And trust, this situation is calling you for you to have faith. So the honeymoon's under the emperor. Uh, so release your ex. So you need to clear your energy of any past relationships. Um, I think they're affecting a, maybe a relationship who you're in now or literally release an ex because there's this emperor coming in that you want to enjoy time with. Enjoy that time with that person. Don't bring in things that other people have done to you, you need to trust them under this judgment, you know, because everything's coming out in the open and maybe they're telling the truth this time. Playfulness and free yourself. Playfulness, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Maybe you need to let go of these old coins if this is love, this old principles and just let go. 
Um, and at the end, you've got to free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So the emperor is control. He does have his empire. So I feel that there's some waking up to do this next 48 hours. You can actually see clearly the red flags and the fact that you've got to get rid of some energy from your past. Um, if you don't, you're not going to enjoy the moment now as, as an emperor, as someone who um, owns their shit. And if it's a person, you need to trust them, be playful and free, um, and free yourself from holding on to these old principles of not trusting or, or not being, because it makes you unplayful. It make, you need to be childlike. You need to recapture something useful of a, of a spirit. You need to shine. And it's time to take back control of your life. And it seems like this unicorn, that they're caged. To free yourself within this now with the new person to attract a new person because the past is gone it's like you're you don't even have to lay down anymore and contemplate or you are the emperor you're going to meet the emperor the emperor is, is owns everything upright as a businessman he doesn't it's just under judgment you've got faith you know god god will sort everything out <laughs> As it does, the universe seems to sort things out. So we've got, it's just, you could be a little bit more trustful and playful. Um, and that allows you to free free yourself. It, you can run around that forest with that being that unicorn. Take back control. Maybe an ex had too much control over you. So we've got beloved one. I'm helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. Angels, what would you like the collective for the next 48 hours to know? The collective for the next 48 hours to know. Next 48 hours. Next 48 hours to know. Joy. That joy is the highest energy of all. It's the magical sense that everything is possible. Joy springs from appreciating the gifts within each moment. Joy allows you to attract and create your present and future moments at their highest possible levels. So no longer laying down. Um, you need to bring joy and playfulness into your life. A couple more angel cards, please. Angels and spirits, what would you like the collective for the next... It's too many. For the next 48 hours, please. The next 48 hours for the collective. Collective 48 hour reading. For just as many, isn't it? I'm sorry, I'm going to take that one. Leadership. It is time for you to assume, and look, it's right under the emperor there. It's time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. So, cleanse. Enjoy some time with, with someone you want to spend time with. Let go of control issues. Um... Or, but it is, it is a leadership. You need to trust that your ideas are good. You haven't done anything wrong. Recapture moments. Joy. It's all about coming into your power, regardless of whether that's a fire sign, the emperor or not. It's coming into your power and enjoying doing it. Freeing yourself of anything from the past, any energy, any people. That didn't have your best interests. Can we have two more cards from the angels? Angel cards. Can you have two more cards from the angels? 48 hours. It's 48 hours for the collective from the angels and spirits, please. Angels and spirits. What would you like the collective to know? What would you like the What you know what to do. Trust trust is look, trust is is um there and its first word is trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. That's under this situation is calling for you to have faith. Yes. Patience is under playfulness. Now is the time to learn, study and gather information, be and joy being a student because in the future you will synthesize your knowledge into action 
And now that you have asked the angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven's help, and that's under free yourself. So, let just let go of old things and start moving and doing and trusting. And mainly have faith that what's meant for you will not pass you. Okay, I hope I've helped you. Uh, I've been the Gift 202 Susie, and if you want a reading with me, it's the Gift 202 CS at gmail.com. Thanks very much. Bye bye.